Hi, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. Let's go and do this question. Now, this question says that uh, in the last seven days, what happened? The number of cars sold were equal to this. Now, understand whenever you have a list of numbers, always write those list of numbers in ascending order. It gives you a better clarity. So, if I write all the numbers in ascending order, I'll get 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 8. Now, the question is asking for which of the values uh, for the seventh value, which is the seventh number, it can be two, it can be four, and it can be five. Now the question is asking for which of the values the mean is equal to median, right? So understand, guys. Uh, I have these numbers. I have these set two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I'll write it three times: two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Now over here, let's suppose the number is 2, so 2 will come here. Over here, let's suppose the number is 4, so 4 will come here. And over here, let's suppose the number is 5, so 5 will come here. Now I'm going to start with this example because these are consecutive numbers or consecutive integers. And what's so good about consecutive integers is that mean is equal to median. It's always true. You want to calculate that? Okay, even when the numbers are consecutive, always the middle number is the mean because there are equal deviations, right? So that means 5 is the mean and 5 is the median. That means this is definitely true, the third one. Let's pick up the second one, that is the number 4, right? So let's pick up that. Now over here, if I go from this example, now what is happening from this numbers to this number is actually one number is increasing, decreasing by 1. That means this 4 is giving me a negative 1 deviation, which is shared by 7 people. Hence, average over here is 1 by 7 less than the average here. That means average is 5 by 5 minus 1 by 7. But the median is 4, which is not equal. That is why this is eliminated. Similarly, if you compare this with this, you can clearly see from 5, I have replaced it with a 2. That means, again, a deviation of negative 3, which is shared by 7 people. Hence, the mean will be 5 minus 3 by 7. And the median over here, it's again 4, which is not equal. That means even this number 1 is eliminated. That means my answer is 3 only, which is my answer option B. Right? So suppose you've understood this. This is what I call as the deviation method. Right? So in case you're wondering what this deviation method is, please watch the average video 1 from the free video portal. You'll be able to clearly understand how easily we can calculate average problems without any calculations. Right? So suppose you've understood this one. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.